So if you want to be here with me, please get yourself ready. I don't know how I will behave. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Could you shake hands with your neighbor for me and tell them this is for Kenny Alpha? Um, we want to begin a journey that I call establishing the kingdom of the spirit. Just write that down. If you want to go to the Bible, my first reading will be in the Bible somewhere. And my second too. And the third reading. And the tenth as well. You are a spirit. You are a spirit that was encased in a soul to give you a unique persona. Very important. Then you are clothed up in a physical dirt suit that is called the physical body. And all the three entities of your life are important. If your body dies then, and you exist here, then you will number among those that we need to cast out. <laughs> so that in the physical, nobody sees you physically guarded against some falling objects and some kind of stones that are thrown against you. But in the spiritual, thrones, stones that are thrown against you, we never access you because, because you are there. Be because because you are salvation that has a bear, that has a help. You understand? Yes. And all these Paul talk about are spirit factors. Things that are basically seen in the spirit realms. That you really have to see to have spiritual eyes to see. You have to go into the spirit realms where my spirit functions to really get to know whether I have a helmet or I don't have a helmet. Then he talks about the sword of the spirit. Say the spirit ought to have a sword. Again, he's not talking about a physical thing. So that somebody may physically not even have a weapon. But in the spiritual, you have a sword. Then he talks about the gospel of peace. The shoes of the God. And he said the gospel of peace is a spiritual thing. Has shoes. And some of us may come to church with torn shoes, but in the spiritual, your spirit is clothed up with the shoe of the gospel. And somebody asks him, but number eight, he says, show us the Father, and that will be sufficient. And Jesus is surprised. He said, Philip, after you've seen me all this time, you've not, have you not seen me? Have you not known me? How can you ask show the Father when you have seen me? So the guys are struggling. They're looking at the man who's been eating fish with him. You know, and this man is claiming that when you look at him, you should see the spirit God. Yes, Lord. So, so how is that? Amen. Uh -huh. I, mean, I don't want you to feel 40 days. I want you to feel the word right now. Because there's something God is saying to you. There's a key. Our transformation. God spoke to me the other day. He said, he said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. And when I look back and I see where I am and I'm not perfect, I'm not arrived. But I gotta tell you, I pull through things and I pull through my ledges, but where I am has been caused by what I know. It's not been caused by feelings because feelings came and went Hallelujah. But it's been caused by something I discovered. Something God opened my eye and I saw something God peeled off in the presence of revelation and God let me see it. And when I saw it, it had the power to begin to impact my life and cause the next mileage. Did you get it? Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Because when God said that if, Christ, if you are in Christ, it doesn't mean then just the God just got born. Then the baby had to grow up in the womb of Mary and, and, and the conquer the womb and make an announcement and get born. Yes. Not so much by Mary's will, but the baby said, My time is here. And Mama tried to say, Behold, Lord, we are in a manger. 
tonight. There's somebody who has offered to give us their hotel room tomorrow. Please come tomorrow. They be saying, you don't time me. I time you. I've outgrown the room. And, and, and the Bible said that she had to give birth in the manger. And the boy gets born. And he gets born. And when he gets born, then the boy begins to grow. And he eventually becomes the Savior. And now Mary is in Jesus. Hallelujah. Because Christ has become her Savior. Now Mary lives in Jesus' world, in Jesus' reign, in Jesus' kingdom. If Mary had a demon, Jesus can drive it out. You know what I'm saying? In my name, they will drive out demons. Let me say this. They will take hold of snakes with their head. Said when you drink deadly poison, it will not hurt you. What is it talking about? It's talking about dominion in the physical body ring. Then you will take poison into your body, it will not hurt you at all. Wow. But there's somebody here in the physical kingdom. I mean, let me know. All physical factors, all forces that play in this physical earth kingdom come against your body and your body has to succumb. Every time the weather changes, you have to have a flu. And nowadays you used to it, you tell people, I caught a flu. I caught a cold. You, you, you have a hand that just love to catch colds. Every time a cold comes, you cut. And it's your neighbor that does not cut the cold, but you cut the cold. The people that are established to be, even in the negative, in the physical, there are people that have built their body, that have strength, physical strength. When you see them, son, you look at them. How many people know Peter? It's really after 40 days. <laughs> Have you seen people that walk up into the office and when they walk, everybody gets quiet? His anger all of a sudden means everything. What has he done? He's used the power in the emotional kingdom to silence everybody. And what he has affected is your emotion.